Hey guys, TG Corpleum. As you can see, we're playing a pretty well known game Dishonored. Where we take on the role of Corvo Atano, Lord Protector of Empress Jessamine Caldwell. There we are. There we are. Um, easier your normal. I don't want to go hard or very hard just because I want to show you guys. Let's do this. Brightness. But I can barely see the darkest symbol. That's too bright. And I can't see anything. That's that's about right. I've played into a little bit of this. You have just returned from a journey of several months visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. Wrong choice. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. The Renhaven River. Steady hand! That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. Indeed, we have. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. All the other superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months, that's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plan. Corvo. He and his niece are the last you know of his family. Next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touching. Do Hello, sir. Dunwall Tower. Emily! Come here. Can you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Alright. Can't say no to Emily. Okay, here we go. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other isles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. 
Follow me, Corvo. I'm right behind you. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm right. going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Mother's going to be happy. She missed you. Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. I have two. Uh, wrong buttons. There we go. The Lord Spy Master is with her, but she said to show you right in. Alright. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. Thanks, Anton. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. Waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. <laughs> Did you see any pirates? You saw my improvements to the waterlock. See what I'm forced to paint. The High Overseer is no beauty. No, he's not. You're not painting inside the lines. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. Oh, you're the religious High type. Overseer, I must ask you to hold your pose. No foreigner can save us from the consequences of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Crystal cider drink. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider, though in truth he's always close to the stuff. <laughs> She'll see you at once. Have you ever met my niece Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. Hello, my lord. Mm -hmm. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. Hiram Burrows. You great asshole. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. I don't like the look of them. Follow me, Captain. We should leave them alone. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Hmm. It's a fair Everyone wind that seems brings scared you home because to me. of the rat plague. What news have you brought? I'm glad you're here. There you are, just me. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. 
We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Thank you. If you hadn't been here. No more. Not again. No. Mommy. Let no. go of me. Why? Her. You're the only one. Just me. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Just me. What is all? This isn't. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. You. I knew I didn't like the look of this guy. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. <sighs> Six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now, locked away in Cald Coldridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned Shut up, out Burroughs. well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye. Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. So this is their attempt at a coup. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. And what does that entail? Well, this is where I've been forced to stay. That's how I've been drinking. It's, I don't even want to tell you where that what that's done. Just a piece of bread. All right, fine. What? Hello, Corvo. Who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it in on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. Good luck. 
We need you alive and well for what's to come. Friend. Can I buy your ration of elixir from today? Huh. City watch sword. Not bad. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? Burn this place to the ground. Horrible. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. Come on. Right. Social uh. event for the high and mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head shot. Though. Nice work. Get a few more before they get you. Hey, kill a guard for me, will you? Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. If I can help it, I won't kill anyone. No promises. Where I heard someone. This gun's a little loud. This is where I was not long ago. Alright. Not even. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress. It's not a trivial matter. Corvo Tano, formerly the Lord Protector, will be brought in for interrogation. Of most importance... <laughs> if Corvo dies in his hands instead of getting the public execution, it'll be your head that rolls. Alright. 
Clockwork explosive. Nice. How no one ever noticed that? I don't know. Ackworth, you lazy slug. Did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. You should bathe. I can smell you from here. You're such a chaffer. That didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. Well, um... He's dead. So is that other guy. The alarm wasn't sounded, so hopefully we've got that going for us. Shit. This guy... Choking someone out takes time. Sometimes I just don't have the time. Another patrol with you.